All right, so the steps in solving this problem, the first thing that we want to do is identify what the reaction is, which is taking place. We know that iron is reacting with oxygen, which is going to form an iron oxide compound. Uh, however, we don't know if that's going to be iron 2 or iron 3 oxide. So I'm just putting in question marks because we haven't determined yet what that ratio is going to be. Again, in reading the question here, we know that we have 0.315 grams of iron. Now the product which is going to be formed, the iron oxide compound, we know that there will be 0.406 grams. Now we can use conservation of matter or conservation of mass to determine the mass of oxygen which is going to be used up in this reaction. Uh, because the iron will be conserved, we can assume that there will be, of this 0.406 grams, 0.315 grams of iron. So by subtraction, we can calculate the mass of the oxygen to be 0.091 grams. 0.091 grams. To complete our calculation of percent composition, we want to take the mass, which is iron, 0.315 grams, and divide that by the total mass of the compound, 0.406 grams. We'll multiply that by 100 in order to calculate the percentage which is iron in this compound. That works out to be 77.6%. Uh, we'll do the same thing for the oxygen. Uh, the mass of the oxygen was calculated to be 0.091 grams. Dividing that by the total mass of 0.406 grams, multiplying by 100 to convert to a percentage, allows us to calculate a percent of oxygen being 22.4%. And we can see that our two percentages, if added together, will total 100%. We're always looking for that. If we ever have percent composition values which don't add to be 100%, um, that's a red flag that would cause us to want to look back and see if we've made a calculation error. It is possible with sig figs that sometimes you may be adding your percentages and it's going to work out to be 99.9 .9 something. That's not one to be worried about. It's when your percentages add to a number which is uh, significantly different than 100 that you want to go back and check your work.